Well, I think it's been really interesting, people from so many different backgrounds. So, you know, it's a sports analytics conference, but we've got people from the armed forces and uh, yeah, real data analysts and people from different territories from the United States. We've got Dave Collin just and a, a, a very good psychologist speaking later on. So I think it gives a, a good view from lots of different perspectives, which is very useful. Um, both in the formal environment but also in the, the coffee breaks where it's the networking and the interaction of all these different bits of expertise that's so useful and beneficial. You spoke about real-time saliva testing and your, your company's expertise in that area and the, the emerging in intelligence that's coming in that area. How important do you think that could be and how influential could that be in sport in the years to come? I think it's, uh, there's new technologies in all areas, so ours is saliva and there's blood and there's GPS and there's heart rate, so I think they're, they're, you know, they are changing the scope of, of, of sport in the UK and throughout the world, and I think that means there is a need for people to, to be upskilled in all of these different areas, but then you also do need a good mechanism to analyse your data, make effective decisions in real time to influence what's happening on the training pitches, you know, the, the same or the next day. Um, so I think all these technologies are very important but they're always only going to be as good as our ability to, to look at the information, to analyse it very quickly and um, go forward to change behaviour. Is it your sense that the elder statesmen of sport, the managers, the coaches, the gatekeepers, that they have a growing appetite for this kind of intelligence and information? I think it is and I think a point was made very clearly by Simon in the first session of the day that some of the old school managers are probably find it difficult to get in, get new jobs and we've got some very successful younger managers now who don't have a, a, a typical playing background necessarily or not necessarily successful playing background but are very good at coaches. You don't have to be a former player in any sport to necessarily be a good coach. But what the younger coach does tend to bring is the embracement of, of change and the new technologies and ideas that, that we've been talking about at this great event. And just finally, how important do you feel an event like the Sports Analytics Conference can be in, in raising the profile of all the different disciplines and all the techniques that, that are being discussed? I think it's, it's, it's really important because I think if you're going to have effective interdisciplinary work in, say, a football club, you have to have a, a good understanding of, of what other people's um, sort of detailed working involves. And, and once you, you share that understanding and exchange, then, of course, you're going to work to be, together better in, a, in an interdisciplinary fashion. You can't... These things don't exist in a vacuum, so it's not just about the body or just about the head. You have to have everything... Put together so we need to understand and respect different people's viewpoints.